This is a tutorial for using the START app to provide visual acoustic biofeedback treatment for the R sound. START, which stands for Speech Therapist App for R Treatment, is developed by researchers at New York University. It is intended for use under the supervision of a speech language pathologist. This tutorial will show you how to use the START wave to practice R sounds. When you use the START app, you should have an external microphone plugged into your iPad. It's okay to use the inline microphone from a pair of earbuds. START makes a picture of your speech sounds in real time. Your speech looks like a wave on the screen. Right now, as I'm speaking into the microphone, see how the waves move around while I talk? We're going to focus on the bumps, or the peaks, along the wave. You can see the peaks moving around and changing the shape of the wave as I am speaking. The vertical lines under the peaks are there to help you find the peaks in the wave. Sometimes a peak may appear without a line or a line may be visible when there is no peak. The focus when using start will be on the location of the peaks along the wave, not necessarily the location of the lines. Here is a picture of a wave for an E sound. The first peak is all the way to the left. The second peak is pretty far to the right, and the third peak is even further to the right. Watch me say E. See how the peaks in the wave on the bottom line up with the peaks in the picture of a wave on the top? E. All speech sounds have recognizable peak locations along the wave. For example, if I say an ah sound, my wave will look like the picture here. See how the peaks in ah look different from the peaks in e? Now watch me say ah. You will see the peaks in the wave on the bottom line up with the peaks in the picture of a wave on the top. Ah. Now I'm going to say ooh. Like before, watch how the peaks in the wave on the bottom line up with the peaks in the picture of a wave on the top. Ooh. It's important to mention that the shape of your wave might look different depending on where you are from. For example, people from California and New York tend to have very different ooh sounds. Now let's talk about the R sound. Here is a picture of a really good R sound. For vowel sounds, we focus on the first and second peaks. For the R sound, our focus is actually on the third peak. Look how close it is to the second peak in the really good R sound. Good R sounds are unique because their third peaks are very close to their second peaks. Look at these two pictures and notice the different location of the wave's third peak in each picture. The top picture is an R sound that's not so good. It sounds like uh. The bottom picture is a good R sound. It sounds like er, which rhymes with her. You can practice correct R sounds by setting a visual target for your third peak. In these images, the white dotted line serves as a visual target. Note how the third peak aligns with the target in the good R image. Lining up the third peak of the R sound with the visual target will be the goal in visual acoustic biofeedback therapy using START. Besides looking at where the third peak is located, we can also look at how close the second and third peaks are to one another. A good R sound has a very small distance between the second and third peaks. Sometimes they are so close together that they look like just one peak during the R sound. That's okay, a good R sound can look like either of the two images you see here. If you see only two peaks for an R sound, you should focus on getting the second peak close to the white line. I'm going to say a good R sound. Watch for the third peak to come close to the target line. Arr. Note that the second and third peaks merge together some of the time. That's okay because the merged peak was close to the white line. Now I'm going to say a not so good R sound and then transition into a really good R sound. Watch how the third peak starts out pretty far to the right during the incorrect R. Then, as the third peak moves to the left and gets very close to the second peak and the white line, the R begins to sound more correct. Uh... Uh... 
When you use the Start app to practice with your client, you'll see something similar to this image. The target line appears as an adjustable starfish slider. When you create a user profile, the app will suggest a target location for the line based on information you entered about your client's age, height, and sex. It's okay to move the slider further to the left for a more challenging target. However, you don't want to go further than about where you see the starfish in this picture. This is the end of our Start app tutorial. Note that the app has a resources page with links to more information that may be helpful to you as you get started with and continue using the app.